Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the second ODI fantasy match review for the game between Bangladesh and India. Now while the first game was slightly off from what we expected, we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to tell you if India is actually going to turn around come the second one. They'll try to. Hopefully they make lesser mistakes as compared to first one. Uh, and there were quite a few very glaring errors both with the bat, with the ball, usage of resources as well. It also impacts fantasy, but uh, it is what it is. And hopefully, this team can get that mojo right. Because I think they have the resources. It's just about getting to where and putting in consistent good performance, which I don't think have come in this format. Right. Let's see if we are able to put this specific. First up, let's look at what venue conditions we have on offer. We played on the same ground again and most probably even on the same pitch because that's what we generally see in series that happen in Bangladesh. So, Nikhil Bhai, with the second game on this pitch, with it already being slightly sticky and not easy to bat on, how do you see this one going? Right up the kind of team that we want, we like to make. That is uh, more all-rounders and more bowlers. Hmm. And you can see Miran got so happy that he disappeared from the screen for you to hide his joy. <laughs> but uh, that's something that is given in Dhaka. Uh, surprising, but not surprising, right. the pitch report, which said that this was going to be a batting mm. paradise. So you saw how mm. good a batting paradise it was. I think both teams will be better prepared now. Uh, of course, they would have known that this is what is to expect. But now that the power score is adjusted to 232, 40, 250, you bat differently. Mm. And hopefully, India will use the resources better as well. So I do feel Pacers will have more say. Uh, spin right. will definitely be part from one one side for sure. Right. And then when we look at the base team that we've set up, you'll probably get a little more insight as to what we are specifically thinking upon. Yep. So let me just show that to you. Cheers. And yes, before we show you the base team, we have another thing to reveal something pretty special. That is the India investment leaderboard is currently yep. going on on the fan to play app. And this is not only the Indian men's games, it's the Indian men's limited overs games, the three ODIs against Bangladesh. But this time, what's going to hold more weightage is the five T20s that's also going to happen between the Australia women and the Indian women here in Bombay and I'm trying to insist Nikhil Bhai to get me some tickets from his contacts. So let's see if that happens or not. But whether that happens for me or not, you can surely make some good prizes from this specific leaderboard. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, please do join the leaderboard with multiple contests. The point is because you are able to make good teams, it is best to leverage such kind of leaderboards because they help you get a good return on your investment both in the app and from the game as well. So do try it out if you haven't tried it yet. Yes, absolutely. App link is in the description. And now let's look at the team that we have set up. First up in the keeping section, we have gone with Raheem and Rahul. With spin being expected to play a big role, we are expecting keepers to be active in the game. So while their batting is going to be good for both these batters, we think that keeping will play a good plus point. Hence, we have picked up both. And we have gone with two batters in Virat and Ayer. Now, in this case here, we are totally backing recent form because Rohit and Dhawan have not had any big knock off date and hence we are backing both of these guys to come good. Yeah and it you can probably say Kohli is also more on we expect him to adapt better as compared to other two because they're also going to face the new mm -hmm. ball much more than Pira. So hopefully at least they can take care of that part and set up a good base because that is going to be very important. From Bangladesh side you have enough batting options. You can go ahead with whoever you trust like we discussed in the first uh, part of the video. We feel bowlers and all rounders will be more in the game, so we've gone mm. with more in the on that front. Yes, and hence you've not taken Litton Das for now, but he's a good form pick. But we are yeah. expecting India to get, have a strong comeback, which would mean some early wickets, and hence we've not picked him. But we've opted for the all rounders in Shakib and Mehdi. And the one Indian all-rounder in Washington Sundar was very disappointed with the way he was used in the first game. I think with after that spell, he should have had more bowling, especially when we know Chahar is not at his best at the death. Nikhil Bhai, do you see him bowling more than five overs in this game? If he's fit, 100%. 
Right, absolutely. And then when you look at the bowling, we have gone with the three Indian pacers, Thakur, Siraj as vice captain, and Kuldeep Sen. And the one Bangladesh bowler, now this is a punt in Mustafizur, but because we are mentioning that it's a used pitch, he's someone yeah. who will be able to make best advantage with his cutters. And also keep in mind that with that point, Ibadat also got a lot of his wickets at the death and at lot of rash through a lot of rash shots, something which we don't expect India to play again. And hence we've opted for someone who should be able to make hay based on the conditions. Yes, you can easily swap him for Ibadat, even Hassan Mahmood if you feel uh, in that sense, because that is the thing with Bangladesh. Whenever they take because they take in bunches, and it is hmm. surprisingly, but it's happened quite often now with them. Uh, so Ibadat Hassan Mahmood when he took he took three against India also. Uh, when in, in the World Cup game, so uh, Ibadat took four, Shakib took five, uh, and yes, so phases one, it's probably a punt pick. You can easily replace it with whoever you feel will come good. In the all rounders, Shabaz is a miss. I did feel he was probably, I don't know, not used. I think he bowled well, uh, but again, it's a very tough call to leave out somebody who I feel will make a lot of impact. So he's an option there. And from India, Deepak Chair is one who's left out. While we are expecting new ball wickets, I think Mikhil Bai has forgotten that we are doing Grand League picks also. <laughs> no, no, I have not forgotten. I am just trying to <laughs> clear uh, because a lot of these, this will be a very common game because a lot mm. of these guys uh, are the ones who perform the first game. So you are likely to see them in the other basing as well. So the point is to have a common ground, but also a few differential picks. So you all already see phase as a differential, mm. and we've stuck with Kuldeep Sen. And for the next six years, let's talk in the grand. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. So before Nikhil Bhai takes away any of my other picks, I start with my two grand league picks for this game. First one is Rohit Sharma. I think uh, while many people will drop him based on form and based on the way it's been going, I don't feel like he was in the worst flow in the start of that power play in the last game. So I think he should be able to do good stuff. And because for, from Bangladesh, I'm expecting early wickets. I think Mahmudullah Riyadh, not the, not the kind of time that I'm supposed to go with two batters as uh, GL picks. But I think this game, I'm, I have the feeling that it might happen for one of these two. Nikhil Bhai, who are your two picks? I'm, I've surely not disturbed any of your picks with these two. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Uh, again, I, I expect changes. Uh, yeah. And I feel Ubran Malik will get a game. So, if he gets a game, he is a direct contender for a very good Grand League option because I think India missed that extra pace. I know Kuldeep Sen was hit for a couple of sixes by Mehdi, but I felt Kuldeep could have been used as well again. So, again, that is something that I'm very keen to see. Mm. Uh, if they play the same side, then I think Shabazz Emma makes a very good choice. So, if Shabazz plays, then Shabazz, or if Umran plays, then Umran is that option. From Bangladesh, I think this is a game that needs a setup from the from the top order. So, I'm going to go hmm. proper Jaimada with Nazmul Hussain Chandra. Uh, because I feel he's somebody, when he settles in, he gets a good score. And he's someone who doesn't then give it up without getting a good handy, like, you know, 45-50. And that might be enough on this subject. So, uh, while the Bangladesh option is very tricky, uh, it's just a very good field call. And yeah, for India, you have Chabad and Murad. Right. Very interesting picks. And if there's one person who I remember in the last one year that I have not picked at all, it's Nadmul Hussain Shanto. <laughs> so, it will make for very interesting viewing come the game time. So, yeah. on that note, we'll leave you for this specific game. Yeah. We hope you enjoy this one. We hope that India takes it through and we hope that you take it through as well. So, enjoy yes. the game and download the fan to play app right now if you haven't. Because you know we have taken just two batters and on this pitch, even you must do just so. All the good luck. Yeah. Yeah, even teams are taking two batters. So yeah, please go ahead. <laughs>